Oh my God, it's him, it's him, the Duke. If you liked the video, go hit that like button and share with your friends and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for more videos from Prospector 1848. Welcome back, prospectors, to another episode of Prospector 1848. Today we're doing a eBay unpackaging of two items that I ordered from eBay from trusted dealers and trusted sellers. Uh, when ordering from eBay, always check the review ratings of every person that you purchase from. Uh, check how many negative comments they have. Uh, also order spoolion from people that have high sales rates. So if you see somebody that's, on, that's only did three sales, mm, I would not trust them right now. Uh, I would wait till somebody at least has over 500 to 1,000 sales with positive reviews to trust that person and read the reviews. Don't just, don't just see the reviews, read the reviews before purchasing bullion from eBay. All right, so this is two bullion. There are two bullion coins I'm pretty sure that's inside here. I hope we opened it. That I purchased from eBay, once again, from trusted sellers. Remember, eBay also has a um, money-back guarantee if what they're selling are, is not the correct thing they're so selling to you. So you can get your money back that way, which is always a great thing to do. All right, so let's go and see. What did we purchase from eBay? Let's see. We're going to take two of these out. There's two in there. Yeah, they're already in case. All right, so let's see. All right, we got the back of the coin, so let's make it a little bit of a surprise. That was pretty fortunate. All right, so as you can see, we have a one ounce silver coin and a one ounce bar. All right, we see this one right here. This is a uh, Tuvala, one dollar. Queen Elizabeth II, of course. One ounce, three fours. I mean, one ounce, four nines AG. And it's a 2020 coin. Now, this coin I like a lot because um, this coin is one of my favorite actors from the golden age of film. Uh, he was also my grandfather's favorite actor. Uh, and it's none other than, that's right, the Duke, John Wayne. I ha when I saw this coin, I had to have it. Uh, this was one of my grandfather's favorite actors. And he got me into watching John Wayne films. And I enjoy John Wayne's films. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is an amazing coin. Uh, my favorite John Wayne film, and my grandfather's favorite John Wayne film, was Red, the Red River. Red River. Uh, that's probably because we lived in Oklahoma, and the Red River was right next to us in Tex uh, Oklahoma and Texas. So yeah, so this is the John Wayne coin. Look, that's an amazing coin. Uh, there are many John Wayne films I enjoy watching. Way too many to mention here in this video. But if you have a favorite John Wayne film that you like, go ahead and leave that down in the comments. And let me know, what is your favorite John Wayne film? Uh, were you more into his westerns? Or were you more into his uh, like uh, war films? Uh, he did do a few comedies, so maybe where you were into his comedy films. All right, so that is the John Wayne, the Duke coin. Also, another one of my favorite John Wayne films is um, El Dorado and Matintlock. All right, so that's an amazing coin. All right. I was, I was wondering if they had more of these, like, um, Golden Age uh, movie star coins. I would like to collect those. I enjoy watching the Golden Age of films. All right, so next we have a one-ounce bar, 999.9 uh, .9 fine silver. It's from the Royal Mint. This is a new bar that I feel that it will become very popular. I also want this bar in the 10-ounce, but uh, it's a little expensive right now, but... Hopefully silver prices drop and I can purchase it later. It is. This right here. I think it's pronounced the Uni and Lion coin. Uh, 
It is just, just an amazing coin. Look at that. Look at the details there. So I'm assuming she is a queen because she does have a scepter and that uh, that crown ball thing. I remember seeing that in uh, Frozen, uh, the animation film. And then she has a giant lion, which is cool. Yeah, look at the details here. Let's see. It's kind of got like a little bit of proof finish in the back. I like this. I have... Um, other 10 ounce bars uh, I only have one 10 ounce bar right now so I would love to get this one in a 10 ounce bar may have to just sacrifice the money and go ahead and purchase it but I think it's currently going for like 300 some dollars and I'm always in the debate whether or not to purchase a 10 ounce silver bar or go cheaper and just purchase a 1 tenth ounce of uh, gold Oh, just two hundred dollars more. Purchase like a quarter of gold. Now these types of coins, yes, they have a high premium on them, but you know I feel like they also have a high collectability and stuff. Uh, I feel like you could probably resell this really easily because it's a design that's amazing, and I'm pretty sure most local coin shops would love to purchase this because it's something. It's a it's an eye catcher. In the display case all right so these are the two silver coins I purchased from eBay um, I usually purchase um, things from J and Boyan SD Boyan MX or things like that those Boyan dealers but uh, recently a lot of these Boyan dealers been making a minimum purchase of $300 just to order silver from them so I think I, I would rather pay the extra premiums on eBay for the silver to get the silver I want and not just order $300 just to order $300 of silver. Uh, let me know in the comments, how do you feel about these price limits at the current bullion dealers saying that you have to purchase at least 300? I think at one time I even saw a 500 minimum requirement. Uh, so how do you feel about that? Uh, is it better to just go to places like eBay so you can purchase that one individual silver that you really want? All right, thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Prospector 1848. Once again, keep stacking that silver, keep stacking that gold, and always, always keep looking for those treasures. Thank you for watching for another episode of Prospector 1848. Please hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like and share button too. Thank you for joining me here again at Prospector 1848.